Before we develop the uh, student class further, I would like to say a little bit more about the uh, dot notation because the dot notation is really important when you actually program in an object-oriented way. Let's now, okay, so this is a tester you can review which will build the uh, object structure like this as, as we illustrated in the previous video. Okay, so now I would, like to use, I would like to use this particular diagram to illustrate to you how the dot notation can be used. So now, first of all, Again, I would like to remind you about this is how you can understand the dot notation conceptually. So now in Java, you will actually use the dot notation like the dot. But conceptually, in the diagram, you can think about whenever you I say dot, that means I'm pointing some arrow over here. Okay, so that's something we mentioned briefly in the previous video. Okay, so now how can we understand this? I'm going to give you lots of examples in this case. Okay, now, first of all, Let's start with the simplest case. If I talk about just S over here, I am, I am referring to this particular student object over here. Now, what about if I say S dot? So what does that mean? If I say S dot, if I, S dot, if I say S dot, that means I'm following the address that is stored in S and go to that particular object in the memory. Okay, that's what S dot means. Okay, that's what it really, that's what it means. Okay, so now what about, let's do something simple. If I say s dot name, and if I say s dot courses, and also if I say s dot noc, so these three are all valid. When I say s dot courses, what is, uh, s, when I say s dot name, I'm really referring to this particular attribute over here, which has the value gym. If I ref if I say s dot courses, I'm referring to this particular attribute, which store the address of some array of uh, size five. I'm really talking about this particular uh, value over here, which is just another address. Okay, which we can follow further. So when it, basically, whenever you see that the attributes of your objects is of reference type including array. That means you can go further using the array, uh, using the dot notation or using the arrow in your diagram. Similarly, for s dot noc over here, that means we are talking about this uh, particular value, which can be zero or one or two, depending on where, uh, which, uh, where you are in, in, the, in the tester, okay? So these three are all okay. Okay, so uh, these are the first examples I wanna give to you, okay? So now, the principle is, as long as the attributes is of reference type, you may use, sorry, I'm running out of space. So let me just put it uh, up. You may use dot to uh, go further. Okay, that's really the important principle. I'll just highlight that. As long as the attribute is of reference type, you may use dot to go further. Okay, in this case, s dot name, that's it. Because name itself, uh, actually, it's of string type, it usually don't go further with string type. Um, let me just say that for now, but let's just talk about whenever I say reference type, I really talk about the class that we create by ourselves. How about that? And then s dot noc, in this case, that's it. You cannot go any further because noc is a type integer. It's not reference, okay? But now when you say s dot courses over here, you can see that courses is storing some address over here. That means we can go further using the dot, okay? So now what, what can we do? So now let's try that specifically. So now if I say, let me use a different color here. If I say s dot, courses over here is referring to basically an array over here okay it's referring to an array this particular array but now when we talk about array we don't really use dot we do have our own notation for referring to the array the way we do that is by using the square brackets over here okay so this is the only i would say a little bit ex a little exception that we have to say whenever you talk about a an attributes of array type, you don't really use dot. 
because later on we're gonna refer to which position of the array, in which case we'll use the uh, square brackets, which is array specific notation. Okay, that's the only little exception you gotta get used to. Okay, so now for this particular error over here, that's really the square brackets we have. Okay, and now which index can be zero, can be one, can be two, can be three, can be four. We put the index over here. Okay, for example, you say s.courses at position zero. Okay, and you can also say s dot courses at position one, and etc. Okay, that's the second group I would like to give as an uh, as example, and then we'll go further. So now the question is, can we go further, right? So now when when I say s dot courses, oh well, let me just use the, this one here. When I say s dot courses at position zero, so what do I mean? I'm talking about this particular slot, right? This particular slot over here, which is uh, storing the address of some course attributes. In which case, of course, I can go further by following this particular error over here. Okay, so now let's uh, see the third group. Okay, so now let's try to go a little bit further. So now let's say this. Uh, let, I'll put it here. Okay, that's a third group. I'm gonna put. Let me put it here. Okay, so now I can say s dot let me just say for short can i just say cs so that really means courses okay s dot courses at position zero for which we know we can go further if we say dot so that means we're following this arrow over here and then we're referring to this particular course record objects for which we can say either title or marks okay so we can say title over here we can also say s dot courses at position one, and also I can say marks. So now you can see that over here, I'm using index zero here and you use the index one. Let's see very specifically. When I say s dot courses at position zero, which is referring to this arrow over here, dot title, that means I want to go to this particular uh, course objects and then see the title okay <coughs> and the title would just be this particular title which is eecs 1022 okay let's see again what about s dot cs1 okay let's go from the beginning when i say s which is here dot follow the arrow over here and then courses go to the array attributes and now we got a brackets which means follow the arrow over here and then go to position one. So now we have position one here, so now we are here. Okay, so far so good. And then we say dot again. So dot means we're gonna follow this particular arrow over here, okay, indicated by the address that's stored here. And then dot marks. So that means we are referring to this particular attribute, which is zero. Okay, you should really try to practice to see this, how to use a dot notation is really, really crucial when you program in object-oriented programming language like Java, okay? Now, there's one more group I wanna show you, okay? Which is also interesting to see. Now, what's gonna happen? If I say s dot cs courses at position two, let me use different color actually, because uh, it's just another group I would like to show you. Let me use different color. If I, when I say s dot courses at position, let me say three. What's gonna be its value? We used to say at position one is actually this value over here, right? So what about at position three? It's actually this value over here, in which case it's just null, right? Just null, okay? No question about it, okay? Now, what's gonna happen? If I say, I'm gonna put it here, okay? I'm gonna say s dot courses, okay, dot here, at position three, and then I say dot title. What's gonna happen here? Think about what we're trying to do here. We say that s dot, uh, s dot courses will give us this courses over here, and then use the bracket notation, it's going to follow the arrow to see the array, and then at position three. So now we are here. And now it's storing the address now at the moment. And then when we say dot, again, we follow the arrow over here 
and then which points to nowhere because it's storing the null address. But now we are finding the title over here, which does not exist because currently this slot here points to no objects in the memory. So if you're trying to inquire about some attributes of that, you're going to run into some error. Okay, there's something you will see quite often if you make a mistake. It's called null pointer exception. Okay, I'm going to write it here. Okay, it's going to be something called null pointer exception. Because S point CS courses at position three is null. Okay, can I just illustrate this last case for you uh, specifically? Okay, and then that's about uh, what I want to illustrate to you in this tu uh, particular tutorial video. I don't want you to, to get uncomfortable about the dot notation because that's something you want to make use of the most if you program in Java. Okay, let me just go back to my Android Studio and then I want to just illustrate to you one thing over here. Okay, let's say already at the end of this, so we got exactly this diagram here. So what I want to do is I will want to say s out. So s dot courses at position three. First of all, I want to illustrate this. Okay, so s dot courses at position three. Okay, let's see exactly what it is. Okay, so now let me execute the tester over here. Let's see what it will be. It's gonna build a grotto and then it tells me that it is now. Okay, you can see that over here now. Okay, exactly what we said before is pointing to now. Okay, now what's going to happen if I say something like this? Okay, as the course is at position three dot title dot title. Okay, it compiles. It compiles because we the reason that it compiles is because we we're just following the arrow. Okay, whether it will work or not, the Java compiler does not care. It's really up to the runtime uh, monitor. Okay, so now let's see this. Let's, let's see what's gonna happen. If we try this one here, let's see what's gonna happen. We know that's now. You can see that up up to, up to now, this is now, but now we can say dot title, which means we go to nowhere and want to find out what the title is. Of course, he's gonna run into trouble. Okay, I wanted you to see over here. Exception in so we got an exception called Java the language land dot null pointer exception. So that's exactly what I wrote to you on the iPad. And where do we have that exception? You can click on this hyperlink over here. It tells you that line number 21, which is exactly where we had that thing over here. Okay, I'll make a very quick uh, uh, comments for you. Now pointer exception here because s dot courses is now making it impossible to go uh, to look up and objects course record object to look up the title of and course object in the memory. Okay, that's exactly what I said. But now for uh, simplicity for a uh, later test, I will simply just, uh, you can select the block and then control and forward slash. I'll just put the whole block into comments. Okay, just as a reminder, but I can definitely try uh, by uncomment this again. Okay, again, for this video here, nothing about programs, but I really want to show you how you can use the dot notation. You should really get used to it. And as we add in the third model class later in the tutorial series, things will get even more complicated. However, the principle still applies, the same principle about dot notation. And, uh, we'll see.